Hi everyone, this is Annabelle for AOP Tech on YouTube. Today I'm going to share with you an update Google began rolling out early last week that affects inserting images into docs, slides, and drawings. If you've ever inserted images into your Google Docs or presentations, you're familiar with the insert image big menu box shown here. You've been able to upload pictures directly from your computer, uh, by URL or searching your albums, your Google Drive, and even searching Google Images. Now, one thing to note, if you have or are still seeing this uh, insert image box, you haven't received the update yet. So be patient, it's on its way. Google is continuing to roll out this update. Uh, but what I wanna do today is take you through the features and updates uh, that you either have already or will be getting once you get the update. So first thing I wanna show you, um, I have a doc opened up here. I'm gonna go into my insert tab and click on image. You'll notice when I do that, I get a triangle here and a sub menu pops up. You will no longer have the big box uh, menu that I showed you in the previous screen. That's how you will know that the update has gotten to you. So it's nice and streamlined, compact, and it gives you options similar to before. You're able to upload from your computer, you can search the web or your drive or photos, and you can still insert URLs. So what I'm gonna do first is show you the upload from computer. And what that does is take you directly to your file manager and you can select pictures uh, in different folders on your computer. So I'm already in my pictures folders and I'm going to, I have a document open for called Habitats. So I'm gonna select this picture by clicking on it and opening it and it will put it into my document. Now, similar to before, Google hasn't changed uh, any of the resizing tools so you can still make your picture larger or smaller depending on what you want your final document to look like. Pretty simple. So now one thing to also note is Google uh, has rolled out these updates across all three apps. So any features that I'm showing you in any of these apps, you can access them um, across the board in docs, slides, and drawings, which is nice. So the next feature I want to show you, I'm going to uh, hop on over to a slide and we're going to stay with the habitats. So I'm going to click on insert image. And again, the same menu appears as before. And this time I'm going to search the web. Now, this is where you'll see the biggest changes when we're using the search tool, when we're searching the web, drive or photos. So I'm going to click on search the web. And you'll notice that the search box is now on the right hand side and it's more streamlined. So you're able to input your search criteria. In this case, I'm going to put habitats and it will show me all the different options, all the different photos that are available that match my criteria. And if I hover over any individual pictures, you'll see that a magnifying glass comes up and if I click on it, it will pop open a larger preview screen that allows you to see the pictures um, and give you a preview of them in a bigger screen. And you can use the arrows to go back and forth. And what you can do once you have a picture selected is click insert and it will pop it into your slide or document. And again, just like with docs, you can resize your picture depending on how you want your final presentation to look like. And again, easy to use, very simple. One last thing that I wanna show you, and I'm gonna head on over to drawings, is a new feature that Google updated, and I'm gonna go into my drive, and what this does is this allows you to drag and drop your picture. So you don't have to go click and insert. If you know which picture you wanna use, in this case, I'm gonna use this picture. I'm just gonna click on it and drag it onto my drawing board. Simple as that, love it. And I'll show you the same thing in my Google Photos. Simply click on a picture, drag it and drop it. And just like 
previously, you can resize your pictures, making them larger, smaller, however you want your final document to be. And again, like I said before, all of these features can be accessible in any of these three apps. So Google makes it that much simpler to insert pictures um, into your Google apps. So if you have any questions on what I shared with you today, please feel free to contact me directly through email or follow me on Twitter. And to get the latest updates on all things EdTech, you can subscribe to AOP Tech on YouTube or visit our website, aoptech.org. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram at AOP Tech. Thanks for watching.